Now let's solve 6.5 minus 0 0.81. So our decimal points are lined up, which means all our other place values are also lined up. Now we can write a 0 in this empty place value column because in the number 6.5 we have exactly 6 units, exactly 5 tenths and no extra hundredths. We need to remember to write the decimal point in our answer. Now as always with column subtraction we start with the smallest place value column, our hundredths. We can't do 0 minus 1, so let's exchange. So now we have 10 minus 1, which is 9. On to our tenths, we can't do 4 minus 8, so again we need to exchange to make 14 tenths minus 8 tenths, which is 6 tenths. And now 5 minus 0 is 5, so that gives us our answer 5.69. Now pause the video and see if you can answer 6.78 minus 1.3. So first let's make things easier for ourselves by writing a zero in our empty place value column and a decimal point in our answer. And now we can just subtract as normal to give us our answer 5.48. Now we have 654.8 minus 73.46. So pause the video and see if you can answer this question. Our decimal points are lined up here, which means our place values are lined up. So we can write 0 in our empty place value column and a decimal point in our answer. Now, starting with the hundredths, we can't do 0 minus 6, so let's exchange. Now we have 10 minus 6, which is 4. On to our tenths, 7 minus 4 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. We can't do 5 minus 7, so let's exchange. Now 15 minus 7 is 8, 5 minus nothing is 5, so we have our answer 5.69.